Sure. Here are 70 amazing facts about Dumral Espoa. Dumral Espoa is scientifically known as Acrantophys Dumraly. The species was named after the French herpetologist André Marie Constant Dumral. Dumral Spoa is native to Madagascar. They inhabit a variety of environments including forests, savannas, and rocky areas. Adults can grow up to 6 to 8 feet in length. They typically have a brown or grayish background color with darker markings. Dumral Spoas often have intricate patterns of saddles or blotches along their body. While primarily terrestrial, they are known to climb trees occasionally. They are most active during the night. Dumral Spoas are carnivorous and primarily feed on small mammals like rodents. Like other boas, they are constrictors, using their muscular bodies to suffocate prey. They can consume prey much larger than their head due to their ability to unhinge their jaws. Dumral spoas are ovoviviparous, meaning they give birth to live young. The gestation period lasts around 5 to 7 months. A typical litter can consist of 10 to 20 offspring. Female Dumral spoas provide maternal care to their offspring. Thermoregulation they regulate their body temperature by basking in the sun or seeking shade. There are no recognized subspecies of Dumral's boa. Habitat loss and collection for the pet trade are threats to their wild populations. Dumral's boa is listed on sites Appendix 2, regulating international trade to ensure its survival. They can live up to 20 to 30 years in captivity with proper care. Dumral boas are known for their docile temperament, making them popular as pets. Regular, gentle handling from a young age can help maintain their docility. Captive Dumral boas require spacious enclosures with adequate hiding spots and climbing opportunities. They require a temperature gradient in their enclosure, with a warm side and a cooler side. Maintaining proper humidity levels is crucial for their health especially during shedding. Like all snakes, they shed their skin periodically to grow. Shedding issues, inadequate humidity or other environmental factors can lead to shedding problems. They may retain eye caps during shedding, which can be problematic if not addressed. Respiratory infections and scale rot are common health issues in captive Dumral boas. Regular check UPS with a reptile veterinarian are recommended to ensure their well-being. Juvenile Dumral's boas typically eat every 7 to 10 days, while adults may eat less frequently. They have a strong feeding response and can strike at prey items with great speed. While generally docile, care should be taken when handling any snake, including Dumral's boas, to avoid bites. Suitable substrates for their enclosure include cypress mulch, coconut husk, or aspen bedding. Regular cleaning of their enclosure is necessary to maintain hygiene and prevent bacterial growth. Dumral boas are solitary animals and should be housed individually. Providing environmental enrichment such as branches and hiding spots can promote natural behaviors. They are capable of escaping from poorly secured enclosures, so proper locking mechanisms are essential. Before acquiring a Dumral's boa as a pet, it's important to check local regulations regarding ownership of exotic animals. Handling precautions, wash your hands before and after handling your snake to prevent the spread of bacteria. Regularly monitor their feces for signs of parasites or other health issues. Stress or improper husbandry can lead to regurgitation of meals, which can be harmful to their health. In captivity, Dumral's boas may undergo a period of brumation similar to hibernation during the winter months. Breeding typically occurs in the spring months. Male Dumral's boas may engage in courtship behavior such as rubbing their chin on the female's body. During breeding season, male Dumral's boas may engage in combat to establish dominance. They may use scent marking to communicate with other boas. While not vocal animals, they may hiss when feeling threatened. 
Jumral's boas may adopt defensive postures when threatened, such as coiling or puffing up their body. Shed skin can provide valuable information about the snake's health and growth. Dumral's boas are sometimes featured in educational programs to teach the public about reptiles and conservation. Many zoos around the world exhibit Dumral's boas to educate visitors about Madagascar's biodiversity. Conservation organizations work to protect the habitat of Dumral's boas and other species endemic to Madagascar. Studying Dumral's boas in captivity can provide insights into their behavior, physiology, and conservation needs. Captive breeding has produced a variety of morphs with different color patterns and markings. Albino Dumral's boas lack melanin pigment, resulting in a yellow or orange coloration. Hypomelanistic Dumral's boas have reduced black pigment, resulting in lighter coloration. Breeders selectively breed Dumral's boas to produce desired traits in offspring. Maintaining genetic diversity is important in captive breeding programs to prevent inbreeding depression. Hybridization with other boa species can occur in captivity but is generally discouraged to